I'm playing the entire career of Trevor Lawrence and not stopping until the day he retires. We pick up in the current day NFL at the end of his second season, starting at a solid 81 overall, and hopefully we'll see him join the 99 club one day. And he's only two wins away from a Super Bowl appearance. Imagine he brings the Jags from 3-7 and seven to champions of the world. From here, we're simming the Super Bowl week, and we'll continue to sim through the seasons until Trevor actually makes the Super Bowl, which at that point, I'll play the entire game and try my absolute best to get him his first ring. And obviously, we'll have to see if he remains loyal and stays a Jag for life, or see if he possibly betrays the team that drafted him and signed for more money elsewhere. Like, actually, imagine the scenes here, bro. Like, imagine the scenes. Boom! Bro, I can't believe it! That is actually gonna be one of the craziest turnarounds in NFL history. No chance Trevor Lawrence just went through Kansas City, just went through Buffalo to make it to the Super Bowl. Against Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant in the 49ers? And it's so important that we actually grab this dub, given the fact that we don't know if Trevor Lawrence will ever make it again, because that's just one of the six challenges that Trevor Lawrence has to accomplish before he retires, along with becoming a 95 overall, winning an MVP, making at least four Pro Bowls, becoming a superstar X Factor, and finishing top 10 all time in either passing touchdowns or passing yards. And any extra Super Bowl win Trevor might pick up counts and replaces one of the challenges. And if he fails even just one of the challenges, I have to discard five, yes, five of his highest rated muck cards. Bro, I don't want like half a million of my precious muck coins just vanishing into thin air, dude. Like, what do you think I am, a psycho? I mean, Trevor had a demon appearance in his divisional round against the Chiefs. Like, what a game the offense had. And not quite as well in the AFC Championship, but at the end of the day, he won by two touchdowns in Buffalo. Who cares? And not only do we have to find a way to beat a team by overall higher than us, Trevor has to throw for 400 yards. He has to rush for 100 yards and score five total touchdowns with every interception he throws counting against his touchdown total for a potential Super Bowl here counting towards today's challenge. We have a wide open receiver off the line of scrimmage. It's like, give me 15 yards and I'll take it every single play. Go and hurry up because I can't waste any time at all. For the same time, I gotta make sure I do not turn the ball over, man, because if I turn the ball over, that counts against my touchdowns and I, it's, it's already gonna be hard enough to score five touchdowns with Trevor. How am I supposed to score more? Quick little screen pass. I mean, it's gonna get me about four. Gotta get rushing yards too, but I need to focus on one thing at a time. Evan Ingram, he's wide open, and just like that, dude, a really good 49er secondary is kinda getting carved up by T-Law. Maybe I just stay five wide all game long. Say Jones! Okay, so that was almost negative one touchdowns on the day. Be smart here, T-Law. We're gonna get some rushing yards here, and he fumbled. We picked it up. Thank the Lord. Be smart with the football. I always turn the ball over in the red zone. Zay Jones is making sure that's not the case today. T-Law, the outside. Four more rushing yards. Four more rushing yards. Let's go! 14 rushing yards, a good amount of passing yards. Drive one, and our first touchdown of the day. And it's so important now that our defense gets quick stops or they allow 75 yards on the first play. That's kind of funny. I mean, I actually will take it. It saved this clock. Give us a second, Evan. And Ingram wide open for a first down. Keeps the chains moving. First quarter, I'm already stressing out, man. Third down and 20. Like, what am I even supposed to do here? I mean, obviously, send everybody deep. Evan Ingram again? Is he gonna hang on? Did he hang on? Yes, he did. Let's go. Huge hands, Evan. Let's get some Mickey Mouse ground yards here. We'll definitely slide, not fumble again. Travis, I see you. You're open. Before the safety hits you, he hangs on. Dude, at least our freaking wide receivers aren't scared of getting hit. Staying five wide. I mean... What do I do here? Do I just scramble for a touchdown? Do I scramble for a second? There's no way T-Law got loose like that. Let's go. Let me tell you, our offensive line is playing one heck of a game. Well, tight end wide open. We got a bad throw actually from Trevor. Travis is on a linebacker, bro. He's on a linebacker. Did we overthrow that? Yes, we did, bro. That could have been huge. Christian Kirk is going to be wide open. What a route. That's why we paid you all that money this past offseason. At the end of one, an okay start. But, like, even though we played so well in this first quarter, we still have so much Trevor's got to accomplish for this Super Bowl to even count if we win. It's Mickey Mouse yards, Travis. I'll take four. Do I just take off? Block for me. We need the rushing yards. Keep going, Trevor. That's the greatest thing that could have ever happened. That's almost 60 rushing yards already. You know what? An underneath throw here to Christian. Kirk, give me another 10 yards. Just send them all deep. Every single one of them. Is there really space there? There is. Oh my gosh. Christian Kirk is eating. He's smart with the ball, Trevor. I Means that another scramble for a touchdown. That's seriously our third scramble for a touchdown in the first half. Like, I can't tell, dude. Is this Trevor Lawrence or Lamar Jackson? Two minute warning. Our defense let him chew up way too much clock. Oh, Travis. So much space. So much space on the dump off. 
We actually get some more yards on the ground. Trevor go. Trevor go. He might get 100 yards in the first half at this point. Another dump off. Screen pass. Travis. I'll take the six yards. Oh my, is that a touchdown? Is that a touchdown? Big boy. It they had 16 chances to intercept it on one play, and I'm glad none of those 16 chances actually worked in their favor. Christian, he runs some absolute insane routes, and that's another first for him. Number one goal here, be smart. Evan Ingram? Almost through another pick, bro. Do I kick a field goal or do I go for another first? This could be a massive mistake, but at the same time, man, this is mad and I'm going for this. Christian Kirk, please hang on. Hang on! Did he catch it? He caught it! That's huge! Timeout! Quick timeout! Bro, Christian Kirk's the top five receiver confirmed. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Why am I so stupid? Now I have to score three more touchdowns in the second half. I should have just never thrown it. Now we're either getting a safety here or giving up a touchdown. That's the only two options. Kill. Death. Death. Oh, it's a touchdown. That's a safety. That's a safety. Let's go. That's massive. Give me the ball back. I want to score a touchdown. I want to make up for it. Everybody deep. Everybody deep. Zay Jones, make this catch. He actually did. Time out. Time out. Imagine the scenes we actually hit this Mickey Mouser. Like, imagine. <laughs> Okay, that just wasn't in the plans. I kind of love the way they're lining up here. Zay Jones, can he do it? There's a flag. What's the flag for? Defense? Against the defense? Free play? Boo! It's halftime. Things are going so good. Then I just had to go and be an idiot. Can we actually score three touchdowns in the second half? Oh, great throw, Trevor. At least that got us from out of our own end zone. I honestly might go for this if we don't pick it up because we've got to score. Ingram again? How is he hanging on to these? You are an absolute demon. Run and hurry up's a big problem until you hit a wide open Christian Kirk. Go, brother! Within the red zone just like that. Zay Jones is literally wide open off the line of scrimmage. Just throw the ball. Throw it fast. That's a first down. Not quite, actually. Zay Jones. That's a first down. Now within the four. Give us that quick touchdown, please. Please, 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 Trevor Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence. Get the four yards. Touchdown, Trevor, once again. That's four rushing touchdowns for Trevor Lawrence in the Super Bowl. Like, this is just really not what I expected, but I'm here for it. We need two more touchdowns. We have Bailey over a quarter to get it done. Just If they're going to score, let them score quick. Can we force them to another point? We actually have a chance. We actually have a chance if we do not actually throw another interception. But as always, man, it's just going to come down to the wire. Let's just try to get our yard requirements. The QB draw actually worked to perfection there we need 12 more yards on the ground we're giving the Niners so much trouble when we spread five wide so I might as well just keep it the rest of the game like if it's working like it is as you see just keep it going at least you didn't fumble there what do I do what do I do wide open receiver is what I do Evan Ingram get about 10 and that's the end of three we still have so much that we have to do like i'm one mistake away from winning this but failing the challenge at the same time like all this would have been for not like trevor might not ever make a super bowl again i can't waste this opportunity please be smart with it good throw good throw good throw not a good catch you know what trevor take off if we don't fumble here just slide just slide that's the 100 rushing yard challenge complete travis out of the backfield this time we're gonna get uh, a first down and much more. What a play from our running back. And that completes the 400 yard challenge. Now I've just got to focus on getting the ball somehow, some way into the end zone two more times in this fourth quarter. And the problem here is if I throw another interception, like the challenge has failed. Like it's failed, confirmed. Although Evan Ingram is going to try his absolute best to make sure that doesn't happen. Clock is ticking, man. The clock is definitely clicking towards zero. Trevor Lawrence with his fifth rushing touchdown of the day. Like again, man, not really what I expected here. Fourth down and three. They went for it and didn't get it. That actually gives us a short field. Bro, our defense has literally played their hearts out. And they're exactly why we're one touchdown away from completing the challenge. I mean, well, that doesn't really help. So many guys in my face. So many guys in my face. I just about threw another interception. What am I doing? I gotta slap myself into making good decisions. I've been bailed way too many times. If I throw one more sus throw, like, it's a GG. Travis, I think he has a step. I think he has a step. Travis makes the catch. Let's go. That's game. What a throw from Trevor Lawrence, bro. Absolutely dropped 
right in the bucket. And can you believe it? The Jacksonville Jags have gone from 3-7 and seven to Super Bowl champions. I really thought for a second we were absolutely screwed, but what a game from Trevor Lawrence himself. And as awesome as this is, and as glad as I am to bring a Super Bowl to Jacksonville, that's one of six challenges completed. But remember, we still have so much more that we have to accomplish. That's if I want to save my precious mutt coins. I'd like to thank Raycom for sponsoring today's video. You guys see these beauties? I'm dead serious when I say I've been using Raycon for the entirety of the last two years and I've loved them every step of the way. And now their everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. They offer eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life and come in a range of colors to match anyone's style. I literally use these every single day, rather it be editing or at the gym. I'm actually gonna use them in just a second to edit this. And I love how the earbuds don't fall out no matter how much I'm running or moving. And I also love the noise isolation so I can block out all the outside noise. And it also definitely helps that Raycon start at half the price of other premium audio brands you may know. So it shouldn't shock you that the everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews and you can get yours now by either clicking the link in the description box below or by going to buyraycon.com slash rbt. Once again that's buyraycon.com slash rbt to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. He still has two seasons left in Jacksonville before he has to decide whether or not he wants to go elsewhere. Swear. And a big part of winning a Super Bowl is building a Super Bowl caliber squad, so hopefully here in the offseason, the Jags front office can make some more signings to make sure next year we have another good shot at winning a trophy. Okay, so the Jags did spend a little bit of cash. Nothing crazy, but they did sign CJ Gardner-Johnson. And maybe even more importantly than free agency, the NFL draft. We've got to get some good picks here to build around Trevor. I'm not going to lie, bro, this is actually a pretty stinky draft. And at the start of year two, Trevor remains at an 81 overall, but I really hope hope his overall can begin to progress this season so we at least have a chance for him to improve to a 95 to complete the challenge. Like to be honest, the team around him isn't that good. So we'll really be able to see if Trevor Lawrence can just carry. Let's just not have a complete stinker waste of a season. Another AFC divisional crown. You can't be mad at that. Hopefully at least for us today, this continues to happen the rest of his career. Offense wasn't the greatest though. I mean, that's a pretty good season in my opinion. 4,700 yards, 36 touchdowns to only 11 interceptions. He had a nice completion percentage too. I don't think there's any chance he won an MVP this season, but did he at least come in the top 10? That's a big no. And as much as I would love for it to happen, I just don't think of back-to-backers in the cards. Boo! We got out of the wild card round, but got beat by the Pats in the divisional. It just had to be the Cowboys. But at least Trevor jumped up to an 85 overall. Still not an X factor, but that's pretty big progression this past season. And next season's gonna be huge because it's the last year of his contract, so is he gonna remain a Jag for the rest of his career? Or is he gonna test out the waters and get big money elsewhere? But for starters, hope they go all out this offseason, spend some money, get some free agents to build the best squad possible to give us another chance to win a Super Bowl in season number three. We didn't sign a freaking soul, man. Maybe that's a sign for Trevor that he needs to leave and go sign for a team that actually takes their football serious. Our 2024 draft class has got to make up for it. I mean, this draft is a little bit better than the last, but it's still pretty horrible. Can Trevor Lawrence actually lead this team to a Super Bowl in season number three, which could be his last as a Jag? See, that's what not taking the offseason seriously does to an organization. I mean, we had the second best offense in the league. What the heck? Well, that's why. Where in the frick did this come from? 5,500 yards, 49 touchdowns to only 13 picks? Like, is that an MVP caliber season? This guy only won six games? If that wasn't MVP caliber numbers, bro, I don't know what is. Hey, yo! Trevor Lawrence, rightfully so, wins himself a league MVP. The season wasn't a complete failure. After the MVP up to a 91 overall with the morale boost thingy, but a real 88 overall, which means he's gained seven overall and just three full seasons. Imagine the Jags actually let him walk in free agency. Uh, Wait, why didn't he make the Pro Bowl? That's so stupid. Haha, <laughs> Cowboys thought they'd go back to back. Happy for Lamar. And at the click of a button, we should know, is Trevor Lawrence still a Jag? And yes, he is. And would you look at that? His development trade increased, which means Trevor Lawrence is now a superstar X Factor. Trevor Lawrence's career is literally about to be taken to the next level. I'll take it. And since it still shows he's a Jag, he had to have signed some sort of contract extension. And yeah, of course he freaking did, man. He got paid. Since Trevor's gonna be here for at least another five seasons, the front office has got to take the offseason seriously, actually spend some money. Although they very well might be out of money now. So yeah, that makes two consecutive off seasons of not signing one singular free agent. 
we got to be due, though, for a solid draft class, at least. I mean, you could have done so much better with the fourth pick in the draft. Into the 2025 season, like, the offense at least looks okay at the skill positions, no thanks to the GM since we've started today. But if Trevor Lawrence can play as well as he did last season, there's no way the Jags don't make the playoffs two straight years. I mean, at least it's improvement from last year. But I'm mad. One more win could have made the playoffs. We're back to being the Jags. I mean, we still had a top 10 offense. I mean, that's still a really good season. Maybe a few too many interceptions. I mean, it was a little dip, obviously, but still, 5,400 yards, 37 touchdowns, only 15 picks is pretty insane. At least he did improve up to a 92 overall. So he's slowly but surely creeping up in that 95 rating. And the man has got to have made the Pro Bowl, right? No, he didn't. He's not made one Pro Bowl. What do you mean? We're letting the Bucks win Super Bowls without Tom Brady? There's no way this front office doesn't sign a singular free agent for a third consecutive season, right? Now that, my friends, is so much more like it. Like, no real firepower or anything, but at least we're signing some quality players. But it's vital that we finally have a good draft class to have some young, cheap pieces around Trevor. Now that, my friends, is more like it. A 77 rated defensive end in the first, a 74 safety in the second. We got ourselves a nice wide receiver all the way in the fourth. Let's draft like this every year. I'm so much more optimistic going into this next season, but we need huge improvements from this defense, which looks really solid. Got some talent because this offense is tired of carrying every season. Hey, look, Christian Kirk's an X factor. That's cool. Can we at least this season get back to the playoffs where we belong? Now that's much more like it. No division crown this year, but I'd be lying if I didn't say it was good to be back in the playoffs. Offense continues to regress a little bit. The defense still sucks. Trevor's back to having incredible seasons. If this is not a Pro Bowl season, I don't know what is. Imagine the scenes if he wins himself another MVP, and he does, boys! That's huge! Was just able to edge out Michael Toon. He's up to a true 93 overall, so slowly but surely creeping on up there. I'm going to be so mad if he does not have a Pro Bowl berth. Thank the Lord, bro. It's about freaking time. We got to start making the Pro Bowl like every single season. How does he have more MVPs than Pro Bowl berths? So now I guess it's just time to go and see whether or not this Jags team has what it takes to win another Super Bowl. At least go on a nice little run here. Why? Why are the Bucks now winning every season? We got first rounded by a sub-5-100 Steelers team? I guess all we can do here is just count on our front office having another really good offseason. Trevor's got to be one of the greats that ends up with multiple Super Bowls. It's just written in the stars. How do we go like three consecutive offseasons, not signing one free agent, and all of a sudden we sign about 33? I mean, there's no real superstars added, but some quality like Brandon Cooks. You got guys that are half decent, you know, like Darren Waller. Hopefully we can also add another solid draft class. I mean, pretty solid to be honest. I mean, you can't complain about getting a potential franchise tackle in the second round. You better protect Trevor well, Danny. Trevor's offense going into the 2027 season. Brandon Cooks replaced the outgoing Calvin Ridley. And unfortunately, a washed up Darren Waller replaces the outgoing Evan Ingram. Team might actually be a little worse than last season, so we need an absolute masterclass from Trevor Lawrence this year. No, dude, barely missed out. But Trevor Lawrence is just still slinging the freaking rock, bro. 5,100 yards, 41 touchdowns, only 13 picks. Brandon Cooks definitely filled a void, but at the same time, Christian Kirk put a lot of the weight on his back. 1,700 yards. Like, retire a Jag, please. Best money they ever spent. There's no way he won another MVP. It's just not possible. Okay, Nicholas won it. Please tell me it was at least good enough to make a Pro Bowl. No, it freaking wasn't, bro. It's harder to make the Pro Bowl than win the MVP. That's just facts. But you know what? I'll take that overall. Trevor Lawrence finally becomes a 95 overall, completing another career challenge. But as you can tell, making those four Pro Bowls is going to be absolutely impossible. All we can just do is hope for the front office to keep building around him so he can have his best seasons possible. Now, that is more like it. Actually giving out some pretty decent contracts this offseason. Can we please have a third straight fire draft? Not gonna lie, it's kind of back down to being pretty mid. In the 2028, it looks like Brandon Cooks retired on us. That's why we signed Cortland Sutton. I think Trevor still has enough around him this season to make the playoffs, though. You know what? I'll gladly take an 11-6 season with that AFC South Divisional crown. What happened to the offense? Okay, so that's definitely Trevor Lawrence's worst season since probably his rookie year. Despite the bad season, he still improved by one overall. I highly doubt he made a pro ball. No, he didn't. I still don't understand. You have two MVPs, but only one Pro Bowl. At this rate, Trevor, let's just win ourselves another 
Super Bowl here in Jacksonville. Or don't. Yeah, we didn't get past the Chiefs. At least we got knocked out by the Super Bowl champion. Trevor only has one year left on his contract, so this next offseason is gonna be crazy. And for some stupid reason, Trevor Lawrence went up and overall this year, but he went down to a superstar. I mean, again, they got a nice number of free agents, so apparently they're not saving money for Trevor Lawrence's extension. Maybe he will be a free agent. If the front office picks a quarterback this draft class, they really might be preparing to move on from Trevor Lawrence. Okay, so this draft class, even though you might not think it looks good, it might actually end up being massive if Trevor Lawrence stays longer. He might have just got his Christian Kirk replacement. At the start of the 2029 season, crazy enough, this is the highest overall team that Trevor Lawrence has had his entire career. So I hope that translates here into Trevor Lawrence and the Jags having the best season of his career. We lost the tiebreaker to the Texans as a now 87 overall team? That's so anticlimactic. I mean, how? We had the best offense in the entire league. What in the world are we looking at? Almost 50 touchdowns, only 11 picks, and 70% completion percentage? Bro, this new and improved receiver core absolutely went berserk. There's no way 5,900 yards doesn't win you an MVP. And did. Another MVP for Trevor Lawrence. That's three. Let's at least hope that makes for a second Pro Bowl berth. Up to a 97 overall, so he's slowly but surely creeping on up there towards the 99 club. We'll be able to see if he can hit that at his peak. Although he's getting really close to 30 years of age, so at any time now, the man could start regressing at overall. Just please tell me he made a freaking Pro Bowl. Thank God. Now, if it takes three MVPs just to make two Pro Bowls, we really might be in some trouble. The Bucks win it every year. This is stupid. At this point, bro, I'm just excited to see what Trevor Lawrence decides to do this offseason. Will he, for the first time in his career, decide to play for somebody other than the Jags? The click of a button will reveal the fate of Trevor Lawrence. And up to this point, he's decided to remain loyal to the Jags. He signed another fat five-year contract worth 160 mil, signing him through the 2034 season, which now we're going to advance to the end of that contract. I do have to note, at the age of 31, Trevor Lawrence did in fact become a member of the 99 Club, so that's a dub. We made it to the final year of his contract, and at the age of 35, he's still a superstar X-Factor and a 91 overall, so Trevor Lawrence has obviously had a pretty incredible career. Just the fact that he's still playing at 35 is pretty solid. He continued to have some incredible individual seasons, and I really hope at least two of these ended up in Pro Bowl bursts, or at least a Super Bowl win. We'll see that in a second, but the team around him definitely looked a little bit different than what it did at the beginning. Yeah, defense too, not sure I can say I knew any of these lads. Colts won it in 2030. 2031, the Broncos won it. Please tell me the Jags at least won it once. The Bengals won it in 2032. At least tell me they made at least one. No, the Bengals lost. Oh, why do you know the freaking Bucks won another? And last season, the Lions won the Super Bowl. So I really hope, I really hope Trevor Lawrence made a few more Pro Bowls. I mean, he's still a 91 overall, so more than likely he has a few more years left in the tank. But I really, really hope this right here is about to say he has four Pro Bowl appearances and he has three. Oh no, bro. It's really going to come down to the wire. At least now he has as many Pro Bowls as he does league MVPs. Like this could literally be Trevor Lawrence's final season. So this video is really going to come down right to the wire. We can't fail. I'm doing it for my mutt coins. What on God's earth has gone down to the AFC South the last five seasons? At least somehow he came out of there at the playoff berth though. So maybe that means Trevor had a good enough season to make a fourth Pro Bowl. Offense was kind of okay. I mean, that's a really good year, but I just don't really know if it's a Pro Bowl year. I told you guys, I knew it. He was going to become our wide receiver number one. I need to quit YouTube and apply for a job in the NFL scouting department. I highly freaking doubt a fourth Pro Bowl was made and it wasn't, dude. We are so screwed. I really hope he either re-signs or signs elsewhere. Oh man, just please don't retire, Trevor. I mean, maybe, just maybe, he could get a Mickey Mouse Super Bowl win for us. Maybe his last chance to win again as a Jag. And now the Titans beat us. Gosh dang it. Titans are a conflict of interest. Tell in my book. I just really hope I go to the retirement tab and Trevor Lawrence is not listed. <laughs> oh gosh, bro. Here we go. He was still a 90 overall, so he had to have signed elsewhere. There's no way he gave up that easy. So it looks like no Jags retired. So did he re-sign with the Jags? Okay, looks like he did. He is down to an 88 overall though, so that's really not good. Oh, he's on those Mickey Mouse one-year contracts, which worries me because he really could retire after this season. I wish they would just sign him at least to a two-year deal. Can the front office just please go all out at least one more time and try to win one more Super Bowl? 
I was about to say at least this is better than nothing, but like, is it really? We're gonna have to draft some 99 rated rookies here if we want them to actually help Trevor before he retires. I mean, to be completely honest, it's pretty good. I will say it'll be pretty cool if Trevor Lawrence does play for the Jags his entire career. Hopefully this receiver core commitment to the days of Christian Kirk and Calvin Ridley. Come on, Trevor, let's have at least one more incredible NFL season. Okay, so that was kind of what I was talking about. That's a pretty good season, not bad. Offense up to top five in the league, that's more like it. That's got to be a Pro Bowl caliber season. It's got to, right? If the Pro Bowl voters aren't voting for this guy, there's got to be some sort of collusion. I will actually be so sad, bro. If I check this and he does not have another Pro Bowl berth, I might actually cry. He has four Pro Bowl berths. Let's go! Oh, bro, I thought we were screwed. Madden gods are in my favor for once. Let's just go ahead and win the whole gosh dang thing one more time, Trevor. Boo! <laughs> we actually got first rounded. <laughs> Please don't tell me Trevor's on this retirement list, bro. I want him to play a few more seasons. Oh, gosh, Patrick Mahomes as a Texan's gone. Lamar Jackson's gone. Is not looking good. Jalen Hurts is gone. Justin Herbert. It's, it's the year that every single star quarterback retires. Joe Burrow is gone. Two is gone. This is crazy. No shot that the 37-year-old came back for another year. I mean, if I was getting offered $59 million to play for a single season, I probably would come back too. That's ridiculous money. Okay, Jackson. I mean, he's only an 87 overall, so that really is kind of like ridiculous money. Okay, so that's not the next season that I wanted. He still had one stupid season, though. He signed for another season. Bro's about to be 40. I mean, he's still a top 15 quarterback in the league. Once again, I'd also probably come back for a total salary of 60 mil. Trevor's not gonna go out without a fight. I mean, he led the league in passing yards, man. Like, he's a grandfather. He shouldn't be doing this. Well, that's a funny pun. No, dude, we gave the one seed a battle, though. Almost 40 and almost under 80, but the man's still playing and is still an X Factor. This man's got to be close on almost a billion dollars in contract value. Okay, is that actually his first ever first round buy of his career? So it's a good thing that he came back. There's just no way great grandfather Trevor Lawrence wins another Super Bowl. We lost in the conference championship. No, dude. And there it is. He finally decides to call it quits after 19 incredible seasons. Now, all we need is Trevor to have been his top 10 all time and passing touchdowns or passing yards for a career. It would save our Mutt Bank account. And oh my God, dude, would you look at that? I knew he was having a great career, but I didn't think he would have passed Tom Brady. Did he also break the all-time passing touchdown record? Yes, he did, bro. He shattered it. I think it's safe to say that Jags fans should be at least a little excited for the next 15 years or so. Now, if you enjoyed that one, click right here to watch me play the entire career of Brock Purdy. Like, imagine what Mr. Irrelevant Brock Purdy can do in a full like 20 year career is he literally a tom brady clone